Track 63. I remember getting to the airport and feeling really nervous. I had lots of bags, my passport, my currency, and I looked for the check in desk. Then I couldn't find my ticket, but my mother had it in her bag. My parents came with me to say goodbye. They knew it was an important day for me because I was travelling on my own for the first time. I checked in my luggage and then I felt very excited. Track 64 I was very nervous before the national championships. I felt terrified. We travelled to the city the night before and it was a long and boring journey on the bus. We were all really tired when we woke up the next day. Finally, our match started. I was surprised because some of the players on my team were very relaxed. The opposition were an excellent team and the match was tiring, but thankfully we won. We were all delighted, and I think our manager was satisfied with the result. It was a really exciting event for me. Track 65 1. I was very bored at my brother's graduation. 2. I feel really tired at the end of the week. 3. I was very surprised when I passed all my exams. 4. I felt really excited when I travelled on my own. Track 66. I think the most important event for a student is graduation day. It is more important than end of year exams because you are celebrating the end of university. I think graduates are happier than undergraduates because there are no more exams. Finding a job is more worrying than taking exams. Track 67 1. When was your last holiday? 2. What do you do? 3. What do you usually watch on TV? 4. What are you studying now? 5. Why did you choose that subject? Track 68 I'd like to talk about an enjoyable event I experienced when I was at school. It happened in my senior school, and I was about 15 or 16 years old. There was a story writing competition in the local newspaper, and my teacher said I should enter it. I really enjoyed writing stories and poems, so I wrote a story and I entered the competition. I was very nervous, but thankfully, I won. I was really surprised. It was good because I won some money and some books. It made me more confident about studying too. I applied for college after winning the competition. I went to the presentation ceremony in my hometown. I went with my parents and my sister. There were lots of people there and there was a photographer taking photos. It was one of the most exciting days of my life. Finally, it was enjoyable because my parents were very proud and we celebrated with a party at home. I often look at the photo from the competition. I've had the photo on my bookcase for about six years. It's very special to me. Track 69 1 do you come from a large family? 2. Did you have a favourite teacher at school? 3. Do you have any hobbies? 4. Describe your hometown. 5. What's your experience of travelling to other countries? Track 70 I'd like you to describe an important event in your life. You should say what the event was, where and when it took place, who was there at the time, 
and explain what made it important to you. Track 71 One. Compare how important events, like weddings, have changed compared to your parents' generation. 2. In your opinion, how should people remember important events from their country's past? 3. How do schools in your country help pupils prepare for events like sports competitions or end-of-year exams? 4. Many people think photos are the best way to remember special occasions. Do you agree?